Hello there, welcome to this video. Let's see in a short time all the features dedicated to 3D design inside Autodesk AutoCAD 2020. Make sure to visit our YouTube channel and our official website for extra tips, tutorials, and giveaways in the future. In our beginner tutorial, we have seen all the bases to build a 2D project with lines, circles, polygons, and arcs. All of these lay the ground plane made by the red X and the green Y axis. Whereas 3D objects spread through all the three axes, with their base on the XY ground plane and their height or depth on the Z axis in blue color, showing vertices, edges, and faces. To work with 3D objects, you have to switch to any 3D view by either using the 3D view cube or the orbit command on the right, applying with the escape key. On the 3D views, all the three axes are recognizable on the preview. At this point, you can start drawing 3D objects with all the tools inside the 3D Tools tab above. If you do not see it, just right click on top and go to Show Tabs. 3D tools. You can draw three kinds of 3D objects the 3D solids, the meshes, and the surfaces. In this video, we will take a look at just the first two. The solids are standard 3D objects with volume that you can draw with all the tools inside the modeling section. You can create regular objects such as boxes, cylinders, cones, pyramids, and spheres by using the first button from the left. You can also hover over each tool to get tips on how to use each of these. All the 3D objects are shown with simple lines without any volume. Since the basic visual style is set as 2D wireframe by default, you can change it to Realistic or X-Ray to show the solid's volume and faces. Other tools inside modeling are used to create solids from 2D existing objects. For example, you can use Extrude to create a 3D solid by adding extrusion depth to a 2D object used as base, or Revolve to rotate a 2D object used as section around a defined axis. 3D objects can be edited and managed just like 2D objects. Click on any object to select it, showing all the blue nodes to adjust the base shape, any radius or extrusion depth. In case you use any 3D visual style, you also have a gizmo system that you can use to move the object along each axis. On top, you can also change the kind of gizmo to size and rotate according to each axis. In addition, you can use the advanced tools inside Solid Editing above to unify, subtract, or intersect solids together to create new complex shapes. The meshes are another kind of 3D objects made by lots of smaller polygons, which can be edited singularly to design complex shapes with excellent precision. You can drop meshes with regular shapes by using the drawing tools below Modeling in order to start designing from these. You can also convert any solid into a mesh to customize its shape by selecting it and going to Convert to Mesh above. This works fine on solids that can be easily divided into polygons, such as boxes or pyramids. These meshes can be edited entirely just like the solids, but you can also act on each single polygon by holding down the Control key, selecting the ones interested. By moving and editing these, you also customize and design the shape of the overall mesh. You can also increase or decrease the smoothness level to adjust the curved edges and faces, using Mesh Refine to increase the number of polygons if you need major accuracy.
When the mesh is ready, you can convert it to a 3D solid by using the Conv to Solid command, applying with the Enter key. Now, let's see all the features to preview and render your project. Inside the Visualize tab, you can open the Materials browser to apply several materials to 3D objects to add proper transparency, reflectivity, and color to these. At first, you just have the default global material, but you can import others inside your project by dragging and dropping these from the bottom to the top. Then, select any object from the workspace and click on the Interested Material to apply it. You can also apply materials to single faces by selecting these with the Control key. Inside the Visualize tab, you can also add artificial point and spot lights. And build an environment with the Sun and Location section to make your preview more realistic. Below the 3D View Cube, click on the down arrow and choose Perspective View to add the horizon. Then you can use Sky Background to add sky and enable Sun Status to add sunlight, setting date, and hour. You can also adjust the shadow options inside the Lights section. To render your current project view and check its final appearance, use the Render button above. Adjusting resolution size and quality next to it. Thanks for watching this overview. Check our YouTube channel to discover more regarding 3D design, surfaces, and rendering with Autodesk AutoCAD.